Hey, we have an interesting problem here from the MIT Integration B 2022. This is problem number four. We need to integrate cinch, that is hyperbolic sine of x over cosh x minus cinch x. Okay, I did this problem previously and what I did is I just took the definition of cinch and cosh. So let's just review that real quick. So hyperbolic sine of x is the same thing as e to the x minus e to the negative x over two. And then our cosh hyperbolic cosine is e to the x plus e to the minus x over 2. So what you could do is just take these values here and plug them back into the problem. And it simplifies pretty nice. So we could do it this way, but I think what I want to do is let's try some manipulation of the, the trig functions to see if we can do something a little nicer. What I'm going to do is let's take our integral cinch x cosh x minus cinch x and what I want to do is multiply top and bottom by the uh, conjugate okay we will have our dx over there cosh x plus cinch x uh, numerator and denominator now let's see what happens when we uh, multiply that through so we're going to have cinch x cosh x plus cinch squared x. And then in our denominator, we're going to have cosh squared x minus cinch squared x. And then very similar to the way we know that we have cosine squared x plus sine squared x equals 1, we have cosh squared x minus cinch squared x equals 1. So what we can do then is notice that this piece right here is just going to be 1. So we'll cancel that out. Then we can break up this integral of cinch x cosh x dx plus just the integral of cinch squared x dx. Now on the first integral we have a really simple u substitution. If we make this u, then this is just du. The, the derivative of uh, Sanchez Koch. So then, without taking too much time, this whole thing here is just going to be u squared over 2 or cinch squared x over 2. So this is going to be part of our answer right here. So next, we just have to deal with this second integral. And for hyperbolic sine, there's a very similar power reducing formula that we have for regular sine. And it looks like this on the right. So we'll use that. So we'll rewrite this integral as minus a half plus one half cosh two x dx. And now this thing is going to be actually easy to integrate. So we're going to have minus one half x plus one half. The integral of cosh is going to be um, cinch two x, but we don't want to forget about our two. So we'll divide by two. And then, well, we can write a plus C, but we gotta, I don't wanna forget about this piece right here. So for this, what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna use our power reducing formula because I wanna get it where I can simplify with this piece here. So we'll rewrite this down here. We're gonna have, I'll, I'll pull out a half, and then we'll just plug in our formula, minus one half plus one half cosh two X. And then we'll continue with this piece. We're gonna have minus one half x plus, I'm gonna we'll multiply this half times half and we'll have one fourth cinch two x. Now let's just combine terms and see what we get. So we're gonna distribute this in here. We'll have minus one fourth plus one fourth cosh two x minus half x uh, plus one fourth cinch 2x. All right, so I've moved this to the top of the board. I'm just going to continue trying to simplify. So we can get rid of this minus 1 fourth because it's just a number and it's going to be absorbed in this constant. So let's forget about that. Then here with these terms, we can factor out a 1 fourth. So I'm just going to use the definition of these again. So for cosh 2x, so instead of having e to the x, we're just going to plug in, we have a different input 2x. So we're going to have e to the 2x plus e to the minus 2x over 2 plus our cinch value, and you'll see that this is gonna clean up pretty nice. 
because we get that minus sign there, over two minus a half x plus c. Then our e to the minus two x, they're gonna cancel those with the minus sign. We're gonna have a half e to the two x plus a half e to the two x, that's just one e to the two x. So essentially, so we're just gonna have one fourth, our e to the two x here, minus a half x plus c. Let me check my answer, because there was a lot of algebra going on there. Um, yes, one fourth e to two x minus half two x. Oh, I forgot the plus c. That's it, so got an answer, MIT integration B 2022. So good problem, I'll stop it there.